Alright. You can buy it ready? Alright. Daddy, give it. Alright, Daddy. <laughs> hey, welcome to Flannel Farms. I'm glad you're here. Today's an exciting day. Last week we butchered our last pig. And then we had no more pigs. It's the first time doing it. Back in November we bought five feeder pigs. And we did not breed them. It was our first go at pigs. And it was wonderful. But I tell you, I love having pigs on the homestead. So we are going to get four, I believe they're Ossobal Blacks. But first we have some prep work to do. So let's get busy. This is where we had our pigs. It's already wired in. You can see our little hot wire down there. But there's not much greenery left where they could reach it. And we don't want to be overfeeding our new pigs. See, we have some chickens that have decided that they're gonna leave their netting and come in here. These are chickens that are gonna get eaten very soon. You see how underbrushed it is? We want our pigs to have plenty of greenery. So we need a new area. This was the very first area we had pigs. And lots of greenery has grown back. However, it is impinged upon now by where we have our meat birds. And we need to not... And we don't want that. So. We're gonna put them here. We're gonna tie into the wire over by the cows run it through here and back through there. This was the very first place that we had chickens on the homestead. And they had underbrushed it, but as you can see, it's come back quite nicely. So we're gonna take the lawnmower and cut a trail through where we cut a big trail already. And run our hotline. The other thing we need to do is put back up our training pen. Now, we did a how to train hot wire train in 90 seconds explained. So remember that old, uh, Training area, still here. We were gonna move it, but when we decided to put the pigs right here, it doesn't make any sense to move it. So we're just gonna put the cattle panels back up. We're gonna slide the T-post insulators down to pig height, put a little shelter in here. Bingo, bango, pig training area. We also need to move the cows out of this one because you can see how much they've eaten it over to the next field, which is still, while it's Got some brown seed heads. Has lots more greenery. So we're gonna work on wiring in this section right now. We'll move the cows over, wire in this section, put the training panel up. Bingo bango, ready for pigs. This is much easier to do before you put the wire up. So do it before the wire goes up. That gives you an idea of what we're aiming for. Isn't this field beautiful? If you look at the video plowing and disking with the Ford Jubilee, we did this whole field with that. First time ever, plowing and disking and planting a crop. Anyways, back to work. <laughs> That'll be a fun class. I have to get the kids to help us be cowboys. Yeah. That sounds boring. Because we're teaching class. Good job, cowboy. Yeehaw, mama. Alright, want to see if we're ready to be cowboys? <laughs> so the wire's in. We have the high wire for the pig or for the cow two low wires for the pigs that's going to branch off and go into the woods we're not worried about that yet right now we got to get the cows in here so if you plan your fencing appropriately you should be able to move your gates around quite easily 
and I'll show you what I mean. This is the original paddock we built for them. We have three hooks down there so we can unhook it and come in. And we had three on here so we could move them in. Well, because we set our posts at 25 feet, we're actually gonna be able to unconnect it from that side and connect it right there without having to run anything else and it will tie into our brain and everything will go well. So let's see if we can wrangle some cattle. You buy ready? All right. Daddy, give it. All right, Daddy. <laughs> I need a horse. <laughs> uh, my kingdom. My kingdom for a horse. Y'all, they are in their field. Those two brown bumps over there. <laughs> oh. All right, well, time to get some water. Okay, wire's in. It's only about like four to six inches off the ground and then about at a foot. Now we're gonna put the cattle panels on. This is our pig shelter, our pig waterer. She went to get the trough. So there it is. Cattle panels are up. It's wired, feed trough, the blue barrels of water, nipple waterer, some shade for them. For those of you who are new to the channel and go, oh my gosh, that's his pig shelter. Where are the pigs? Oh gee. We have two lovely pig shelters that we have purchased, not purchased, that we built. And of course the jack wagon that built him built them very, very heavy. So they're not coming over here. But when they move to their more permanent home, they will have a shelter. This is just for one week. So now all we have to do is wait for tomorrow to go get pigs. And through the magic of editing, that's gonna happen, right? Now, this is my pig getting device. This used to be on top of some wheels. I'm not sure what they used it for, but we inherited it when we got the property. These slide up and down. So we just take a piece of tin, throw it across the top, and that's plenty big enough for our four little piggies. So let's go get them. Okay, well, it's like 6.45, we are back. We have pigs. You wanna see them? Hello? Hello? They're about 35 pounds right now. We gotta get them moved over to the pen. Let's do right. Who's first? You are. You are. Come on. There you go. There you go. And immediately pooped. Thank you. Mm. Who's next? Come on. <laughs> Who's next? There you go. I know. Right off the bat, they're eating. Thank you, Paul. Paul is the one I got the pigs from. He's the one that has the workshop and conference for 
butchering, sausage making, uh, several other different conferences that he hosts on his farm. If you'd like his information, he's over at Mechanicsville. You can send us an email and I'll put you in touch with his Facebook page. I think that does it for us today though. From all of us here at Flannel Farms, thank you for joining us today. Grow as you grow. Please hit that like button so other people can find us. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>